you want to ride, I want to ride. But here's the problem. How are you going to get your ride to your destination? Oh, I got a truck. I got an SUV. No problem. Okay, well, through the storage, I don't know if you could see this, of loading and uploading bikes because I got multiples, right? I'm getting all my <clears throat> bikes all scratched up with the pedals between the pedals and the spokes and everything. It's all getting jacked up. So what we got here is my first bike rack. This is the Kuwat NV Base 2.0. Now like you, I'm on a budget. So I had to go cheap, but of course I had to worry because I've got this spare tire sticking out of here. Two inch hitch in the Jeep. <clears throat> so what I want, my ideal setup, because I have multiple family members, so I'm gonna wind up needing a four bike rack, but I gotta start out slow. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna get the Kuat base. I want the swing out arm but that thing's like 300 plus bucks. And so that ain't happening right now. But what I did was I got the high low extension. It's like a 10 inch extension. I'm hoping that it's gonna push the uh, NV Base 2.0 out so I can get this thing on here. So I got two bikes that'll fit. Let's check it out. Okay guys, this is how it comes in the box. So some assembly required okay so we got a two inch <clears throat> hitch and the kuat extension the up and down extension is a two inch uh hitch so what you can do is you can either set it up this way here's your 10 inch Right, and you can have it raised up. So your bikes, once it once the uh, NV Base 2.0 gets hooked up in here, it'll be higher, or you can set it down lower out here to maybe, maybe that's what's gonna get it out of the way of your spare tire. Now the hardware that comes in is like this pin <clears throat> with a washer and a lock washer. So this pin actually screws in and then once, once it's all screwed in, comes out this side, you go ahead and put your cotter pin in, just linking the cotter pin here through here. So is it the securest? No. You have two choices and I don't know if, so mine won't allow it, but the first hole here is the seven inch extension and the second hole, which I need is the 10 inch extension. So thank God it fits. So I line it up here, poke it through the hole and actually start threading it in into the actual hitch itself. It's threaded on, on this side, uh, there are threads. <clears throat> and then it comes with a high speed Allen key that you can use to help get it threaded all the way in there. So as soon as I get this tightened up all the way, I will get back right to you. Okay, right back at you. I got the pin installed. It's on there tight. The cotter pin just goes like that, which is kind of uh, lame. I'm hoping that they have a, <clears throat> I think they have a, like a locking device that goes around this thing. I don't know if it's in the actual uh, base kit or what but that's kind of whack but here's what i wanted to note real quick is that this thing there's like no play all right that that is in there tight so like i said regular washer lock washer and then allen key tight threaded in to this extension all right let's get wider and get the base installed okay guys so here's the basic theory it comes with five uh, major uh, components. You got the center part, the actual hitch, and then the four uh, feet, 
for a better term, attached to the sides. Now, the way that it wants, it's <clears throat> it's coordinated with the with letters, so you put it together the right way. But because of this tire, I think I'm going to reverse uh, the way that the instructions want me to do it, so that I can have my handlebars for my first bike over my fuel can instead of bumping into the spare tire. So I'm going to head and start with this uh, with the hitch center base here. <clears throat> Nice ball bearing. And you might have to loosen it some because that's how it tightens right here. This knob, hopefully you can see it, uh, tightens everything. All right, so then you have your hitch pin and then, yep, a lock. And you also get a high speed bottle opener. What? So, yeah. So you drop the lock on there, put the weatherproof cap over it, and done. And now you can take this tensioner and apply tension. There is a hole for a uh, Allen uh, wrench to really ratchet it down, but this is already not moving. Now you could, you might see a uh, little letter sticker right here that indicates the, the side of the foot that they want attached here. It just takes two bolts. So there's going to be one, two, and then uh, two more on the other side. So we'll get wide and we'll uh, go ahead and install those right now. All right. Well, you could probably still see the sag here because I don't have the bolts tightened up, but I just wanted to do a test fit. So at the end of the day, this is how the instructions wants it to be done. So this is piece A, wheel on the uh, driver's side, piece B, uh, just the back wheel strap ramp on the passenger side. And then the next two for the dual will be opposite. So front tire here, et cetera, et cetera. So I like it, it works. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this thing up. Tighten these bolts down. <clears throat> the two bolts go through, uh, one going one way, one going the other way, and tighten both pieces onto the center here, and that's how it works. So let me get finished. Be right, right back with you. Finally, the P is the resistance. Okay, so the final bit is the uh, lever here. Very ergonomic, real simple to do. All right, it just fits on there like that. Six millimeter bolt and a washer to get it on there with your six millimeter Allen key provided. Get your screw on. But hey, TSF, what does this do? Well, let me tell you. All right loosens you can set it up bam right or you can drop it down with the bikes on it so you can get access to your hatchback that's badass okay so <clears throat> by way of a function check all right this thing is on there right the happy lever right will tilt all right it'll also tilt it in so when you don't have anybody that's pretty awesome and that's that is on there all right so what does it fit we already checked this one out to the fork as possible, they said. And they want you to put this thing as close to the 
fork as possible. Blockage. It's like a it's like a roller coaster thing that goes over your shoulders here. And then another ratchet strap here. Then what's really cool, all right, you get your lock. You get three keys. Pull out this high-speed cable. <coughs> just back here, just run your cable. Through, and then right in the side here. And it's it's locked. Alright. That's that's all in there. That is <clears throat> that is on there. So I'm stoked. Alright, it works. And it is on there. Even though you have all that weight on there, you can still lower. Chingy, and those things just sit there. That way, you can have access to the back. Now, I don't think with the bikes on here, I'll be able to open the spare tire thing, but at least I can get <clears throat> definitely get to the back glass. So, I'm not sure how useful this is going to be uh, for me with the Jeep, but and that's it. I mean. Awesome. I like it. It's good. It has my blessings from the TSF channel. So, time to hit the road. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And uh, click like, hit that bell button, and uh, We'll see you out there as slow as these videos keep coming. We're going to be out there. So, see ya. You guys have a great day.